Hi everyone, Dr. Brown here again with your Clinic Minute. This month's topic is physical fitness and sports. This is the time of the year when guardians start thinking about sports physicals. Kids need them for camp, and it's one more thing to add to the never-ending to-do list. As doctors, it gives us an opportunity to check on the well-being of children and helps parents remember any concerns they need to bring to our attention. State associations vary, but in Missouri, they require a doctor's physical every two years. But remember, us clinicians like them yearly. Adults should have sports physicals too. In fact, sometimes they have to. For example, the Philmont hiking experience, scuba trips, or other adventure-like activities. You heard me preach about the power of moving our bodies and fueling our bodies well. You know me, don't get me started on the nutrition choices we make. But even with all that good food, exercise and physical activity are likely the most potent thing we can do to positively influence our health and well-being. Oftentimes, when I see a robust, healthy, elderly person in my years of practice, they continue to exercise and often tell me of their youth when they were working hard on the farm. And just last month for our Clinic Minute, you heard me singing the praises of loading the bone and resistance training. A dearest deceased patient of mine would often see me in clinic after a workout session dressed in his gym shorts telling me, our health is our wealth. I was just often too busy or too stressed to really let that sink in. And now, I like learning how to create not only a long lifespan, but a long health span. Strength and stability are so important. I've always said when I'm old, I like the ability to be able to sit on the floor and play with my grandkids. Now, if many of us picture our grand or great grandparents or our older loved ones, then we know that for many people in their 70s and beyond this is a pipe dream. The good news is that we can build back strength and stability. We lose strength as we age. So, if you can barely carry your own luggage now, you won't be able to do so well as well in 10 years. So, we have to use it or lose it. Maybe you need to start with an easy walk every day, or maybe you can cycle for miles but need to work on strength training. We all have different baselines and any amount of physical activity will impact our health. If you want an awesome audiobook to help inspire you, then I suggest Outlive by Dr. Atia. I have no disclosures to make, it just happens to be a good book on how to live longer and live better. And if you want to order labs that he recommends, I'd be happy to help. Remember, our health is our wealth.